Hello everyone. I thought I would do a little, it's been a little over two years I've had this uh, Panasonic boombox, the RX D55. So I thought I would do a uh, real world average Joe, let's say average Ed review. Um, cassette boombox, but what's interesting about this is they sell it as a stereo CD system. It doesn't even say cassette. But I've had it for a couple years. Um, I wanted to show a little comparison of kind of an old school boombox, kind of size wise, to see. It it is it does have some weight to it. It's not doesn't feel like a cheap little toy. It is weight. Um, it does crank up pretty good. It's got this music port in the front that you can play a turntable through. That's why I have this there. I'm not going to test the CD feature because I really wanted this review to be as a cassette boombox. That's why I bought it, even though they don't really promote it as that. The, the good things about this that I will say is it seems to be pretty solidly built. It cranks up. You can play a turntable through it, which I don't really do. I've done for, you know, just a little project or something. I've used this for some videos, my last Sherlock Holmes, and I have another one, so if anyone wants to listen to that. Um, the kind of odd thing I don't like is the headphone jack is on the back, which is inconvenient, and it doesn't have a line out, so I have to use the headphone, the auxiliary jack, and actually the stereo that I have in the sunroom, I use this out there as a tape deck and a CD player and I hook it into my receiver through the headphone jack and it works fine. Sound quality is pretty good. Uh, volume is good. Like I said, it's pretty heavy, solidly built. Looks wise, you know, I'll say neutral because obviously it doesn't look like an old school boombox, but nothing does. Um, I picked this cassette because I just I love the cover and I wanted something that there's no way I'm going to get nailed on YouTube for any copyright which now you wait I will but it's kind of um, has a remote which you use to put on the music port feature Awesome cover. And if anyone knows anything about that band, I found that tape in a thrift uh, flea market or something years and years ago, and I just like the cover. I think that's a self release thing. So, anyone, uh, they happen to see it. So, I won't play that. I just wanted to kind of show it off. I'll play a record again. This is a main band, which I'm hoping won't get Astronaut Records. I love that label. I think this is from 1979, The Blues Prophets. See, so on the remote, uh, where's the thing for Music Port? Music Port, right there. Probably turn the volume down so I don't. Well, listen here, baby, what did you just say last night? You said, well, none of my business just if you treat me right. You gotta step back a little too fast, you gotta get back. I 
hopefully that won't, I think there's almost, I don't want to jinx myself for any copyright. But again, I've had this for a little over two years. Um, nice unit, again, not sold as a cassette boombox, but the cassette works well. Solidly built. You probably can't tell from the video, but it cranks up. You can hook a turntable to it. CDs, which I'm not going to demonstrate because, again, everyone knows what CDs do. Headphone thing on the back, a little bit of a pain in the you-know-what. The one thing I will say is price-wise, I want to say that I got this off Amazon and it was somewhere around buck twenty-five, hundred twenty-five bucks. I looked them up. They're around 160, 170 now, because that shows you inflation. Everything's gone through the roof. Another 50 bucks. So it's not going to be your 59.99 boombox, but it's a solid, heavy system. Good speakers. Um, again, I I don't get paid. No promotion. They didn't send it to me. I bought it. This is just um, straight on. Two years. It's been a pretty good choice. So I would say I recommend it. Okay, Merry Christmas, everyone.